What's up, y'all? This your boy JP coming to at y'all. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This your boy JP coming at y'all one more time. Uh, we're going to do something real simple. Uh, we got this Pioneer radio that I'm about to put inside this 2012 uh, Dodge something nitro avenger intrepid whatever it is but either way i'm gonna show you real quick what these wire colors mean and how to install the radio so this is the ch6001 when you take the factory radio out this is the harness that you plug into that harness that you took out of the radio and then it converts those different wire colors to the aftermarket wire colors to go towards the radio harness the aftermarket radio harness so why is this piece important well this wire right here is black and the black wire means that it goes to chassis ground but on the other side of the harness that wire is not black that wire may be pink or maybe red or maybe green with a yellow stripe or purple with a red stripe or whatever the case is so unless you have a wire diagram to where you're going to cut the wires and splice into this it just makes it easier to go ahead and get the harness so let's go over what these wire colors really mean so we already went over the black one it means ground chassis ground and on the other side of this there is a wire or a series of wires that's actually going to a single point ground somewhere inside the car that's very important uh, this wire right here the yellow one it is 12 volt constant which means that while the car is on or the car is off this wire is receiving 12 volts 24 7 now the next wire is the ignition wire or accessory wire which is the red and this basically means that when the car is off it reads 0 volts and when the car turns on it reads 12 volts now a lot of times when you get some of these uh, a lot of times you get a harness that has like a data module on it and you won't have this wire coming directly from here but it'll come off the module that's because the radio in that car may be turned on through data or something like that so this 12 volts in this ground will go towards the module and that will turn the box on and then the box will output a ignition for you. So that's that. This blue with the white stripe that comes off of the aftermarket harness is your amp turn on. Uh, a lot of cars have digital amplifiers or if you wanted to uh, hook up an amplifier, this is what's going to trigger that amplifier to turn on so you get sound. Now on the factory harness for this particular car, it doesn't have an amp turn on wire, it has a solid blue. Solid blue means power antenna. So a lot of times when you cut the car on, that antenna that goes up, that's what this goes to. So since this doesn't have a remote turn on and this one does, we're going to just connect the blues. Good rule of thumb right there. All right, so every aftermarket uh, radio, well, every car comes with four speakers. Some have more, but uh, with this one, we're going to go over the basic four because that's all that the CD player outputs is four channels. So you're going to have two whites, two grays, two greens, and two purples. So the white and the white with the black stripe, that lets you know which one's going to be positive and negative. So you have a solid color. You have four solid color wires and then you have four that's a solid color with the black stripe. The solid color is positive and the one with the black stripe is negative. So the two whites goes to the driver front door. The two grays goes to the passenger front door. The two greens go to the driver's rear door and the two purples goes to the driver's, I mean the passenger's rear door. So front left, front right, rear left and rear right so this is going to be pretty simple that's why i say hooking up cd players are really easy and that's why i don't go over them uh when i do my radio removals because it's something that's just simple especially when you get the harness we're just going to match the colors up now i didn't think i said i wasn't going to do this part but uh i'll go ahead and show you guys so take our black go in here boom crimp it down right on the middle so this right here is a pretty good connection. You can pull on it, tug on it, and we're, we're not gonna come out. There's no wires that's frayed out or anything like that, so nothing can touch something. A lot of times, if you have a loose connection or if there's wires poking out and it touches metal, you'll get something on your CD player that says miswire, and that means something shorted out. CD player is going to protect mode for some reason. So I like to strip it back just a little bit, just enough to actually get that butt connector on there and crimp down on the metal part. Do not crimp down on the plastic. Boom. So that's the ignition wire, red. So we're just gonna do the exact same thing with that. Crimping down on the metal. So I'm gonna finish this up, show you what it looks like, and then I'm gonna tape it up.
All right, so now we have everything but so now we have everything but connected together. And uh, I forgot about this wire. This right here is the uh, illumination or dimmer wire. Uh, a lot of radios nowadays have an auto dimming feature inside the radio, so a lot of times the aftermarket radio will not have a orange or orange with white striped wire to connect to this. But if you do, then that's what that wire is connected for. So now I got my test tape. I'm just going to start taping up my harness. Now, while I'm taping this harness up, just making sure that it's all nice and neat and tight and everything, uh, I just want to talk about connections. So there's other ways that you can actually connect all these wires. You can use the butt connectors like I've done. You can actually solder all your connections. Solder is actually the best connection that you can get ever in life. But uh, a lot of times, depending on the shop that you're at or the job that you're doing it, who you're doing it for, time may be an issue. So at the place that I work, uh, time is definitely a factor. We only have like 45 minutes to do these. So with that being said, taking the time to go ahead and solder them sometimes is not the best case scenario. But using these butt connectors, they really do not tighten it up. So that is our harness now, nicely tested taped. Go ahead and plug that into the back of the radio, and then this will go to the car. I'm going to run my Bluetooth, and now it's all nice and neat and everything. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that helped somebody. If you found any value in the video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, it's JP signing out, baby. Peace.